So the topic that I picked was cyclic four. Okay. And so cyclic four is a phylum. It um, is derived from the Greek meaning wheel, wheel bearing. And its meaning is referred to the circular mouth ring that it has. And phylum cyclic four is a microscopic marine and vertebrate. It is a pretty recent discovery, first discovered in 1995 by Chris Simpson and Funk, and they found it in the mouth part of the Norway lobster. And so today, there are about uh, two distinct species, and then there's one species that could possibly be in this phylum. So the first species is the symbian Pandora, which was in 1995 in the Norway lobster. The second species is symbian Americanus, which was discovered in 2006 in the American lobster. And there's a possible third species in the mouth part of the European lobster, but they're still doing investigations on that to see um, if this is a third species. So this is a beautiful picture that I found that shows where sexually polar resides in the lobster's mouth. So here we have a beautiful lobster with its mouth right there. You can see over here are the cyclophora on the setae of the lobster's mouth. So just some basic uh, body structure of cyclophora. It does have bilateral symmetry. They are also protosomes. They are a uh, coelomate, and they have a well uh, differentiated cuticle. And the body is divided into Regions. The first region is the anterior buccal tunnel, which is up um, in the head region, and it, um, it has it's the mouth ring, which is where its name is derived from, with um, some dense cilia around it. And it goes with the cold esophagus, leading to the second um, body part, which is the oval trunk, which has a U shaped digestive tract. And the third um, part is the posterior acellular stalk, with an adhesive disc which is um, what it helps to attach to the lobster seed. So the life cycle is very complex for phylum cyclophora, as you can see over here, get very complex. So there's an asexual phase as well as a sexual phase, and then we can also produce three different types of larvae. They have the Pandora larvae, the Prometheus larvae, and the Polydoid larvae. So the sessile feeding stage, so this is the most prominent stage. They are commensal organisms because they are found living on the setae of lobsters. And they are microscopic, so the population densities can range from about 100 to 500 um, individuals in a single lobster's mouth. And they are suspension feeders, and so they, they do this by the dense uh, cilia around the, around the bu buccal funnel. They do this and they create water currents with that um, to get uh, water particles um, into the mouth. And then they have circulation and gas exchange um, through diffusion. So um, the asexual phase um, generates um, many feeding individuals and they do this by internal budding. And internal budding occurs inside the trunk and produces free swimming stages. So you have the Pandora larvae, the Prometheus larvae, and the females. And an internal budding can happen um, multiple times as need be. So Pandora larvae is generated in order to rapidly increase the population density of a single host. It is a free swimming stage, but it usually uh, settles close to the maternal individual on the lobster. And so the, once it settles, it forms a new feeding stage. So the sexual reproduction um, is very interesting in uh, phylum cyclophora. So it is timed um, with the molting of the lobster hosts, and so this allows cyclophora to move from the lobster's old shell to its new shell, and so it's a good solution for um, the problem of a temporary home when it sheds its molt. And so the sexual um, reproduction has two stages: you have the Prometheus larvae and the female. So the Prometheus larvae is again created by the feeding individual, and um, this is the primary male. And so the, the problem with this is that the primary male does not have um, a penis or testes, so therefore it creates one to three dwarf males that does 
um, have a penis on it. And at first, it wasn't known what the function of this penis was. Um, if it was a true copulatory organ, or if it was a mere anchoring or piercing device. But an also structural level revealed the presence of sperm cells in the dwarf male's penis, um, making scientists believe that it is a copulatory organ, therefore fertilizing the females. And so the female is housed within the body of the feeding stage. And so females, uh, individuals carry a single oocyte, and this is impregnated um, by the dwarf male. However, the, um, scientists aren't quite sure how this fertilization occurs, but they do know that once the female does get fertilized, um, she migrates out of the feeding stage um, from the maternal cycle for an individual, and she settles in a, a sheltered area in the lobster's mouth pulp. And this is where she insists and the embryo develops into a corridoid polyp. And so the corridoid larvae um, forms inside the cell of uh, female, as I said before, and the larvae hatches from the cyst, and the corridoid larvae is the best swimmer out of the other free living larvae, and so it is believed that this is the dispersal stage, which means that it can um, move from one individual lobster and swim into a different um, lobster and settle in its mouth to form a new feeding stage that way. And then the question is, can you eat them? And no, you cannot because they are microscopic organisms. However, the commensal organism that they live on, the lobster, um, is a very prominent species in our fishery industry, so you do eat the um, commensal animal, the lobster, but not cyclophora. And this is my website.